Hi friends, how are you guys? So glad you're here. Welcome to Candy's Best Life Over 50. If you're not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button or like my video, thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever you want. But anyway, let's hear what's next. So if you've been following my channel, you know that my husband and I are full-time RVers. I just changed my um, platform information on what this channel covered maybe within the last year it used to be all makeup tutorials and stuff like that because i used to sell makeup but now this is about our adventures full-time RVing. so about almost a week ago we left illinois <clears throat> and if you've been staying up on my shorts that i've been posting you know that i'm in wisconsin so our first four days here we had nope that's wrong our first three days here we had some torrential rain, like really bad storms, not really a lot of wind, but we had a ton of rain and thunder, lightning, the whole nine. But the campground that we left in Illinois had a 105 mile an hour winds, trees down everywhere. Once again, the good Lord was like, y'all need to leave now because it's about to happen. So super thankful that we missed all of that. But since we've been here, it's been warmer than I expected. We're only two and a half hours north of where we were before in Illinois. But I just expected Wisconsin to be cooler than it was when we got here. It was actually in the upper 80s. Heat index is almost 100, which I thought maybe was a little bit unseasonable for this part of the country, but apparently not. But now it's cool 70s sunny no humidity it's mwah, perfect for camping so i found some things out about this campground i will release a video about this particular campground the name of it where it's at and all of that once we've left here but i wanted to tell you um some things i've noticed it is a koa and we witnessed this campground completely disrespect our neighbors a couple of days ago. They had pulled in on, I believe, Sunday. And on Tuesday, they weren't our direct, directly next to us neighbors. They were two sites up. And two days ago on Tuesday, another gentleman pulled in I posted that camper, y'all. It was insane. It had a huge Peterbilt semi in the front and the rest of it. It was like 45 feet long. It was beautiful. And the guy was super nice. He let us go inside of it. Oh, my Lanta. Back to my story. He was supposed to be in that site. So he just pulled into the next site, which he became our immediate neighbor, and went up to the office and said, hey, you put me in this site, I parked in the next one, do the old switcheroo, and out he walked. And he came down here. Um, so the guy who was supposedly in this guy's site went up to the store and said, I reserved this site all the way through this coming Saturday. So I don't know what, what's messed up, but like, I'm not moving out of the site until we leave on Saturday. Well, basically, they lied to him multiple times. I heard it on the guy's radio that works here. Like, they, they told so many stories. They told the guy that another couple was coming in that day and had paid extra for that specific site. I don't know why anybody would pay extra for any of these sites because they're all exactly the same. Like, there's nothing different. We're not super close to the pool or any amenities. Like, we're kind of right in the middle of the campground. So... I don't believe that and neither did he and they told him he had to move he had to move his camper from like say it was me from here across the road to the campsite across the street and he was like mm, I, no like this is a you problem not a me problem Basically, he took his reservation up there and said, look, I have this site booked from this date to this date. If you double booked it, that's not my fault or my problem. 
nor should I be inconvenienced because somebody here made a mistake. Long story short, he moved from that site to the site across the street only to find out that the people who were supposed to move in there, they went somewhere else. So the whole thing was unnecessary. It was complete BS. And if that were to happen to me, I'm just gonna say it, heads would roll. Like I would be on the phone with the owner, reminding them who the customer is and who's supposed to accommodate the customers. And here's the thing about KOAs. They, there's a website, you know, it's an app. You search for a campground in the area that you're going to, and you check to see if there is an availability for certain dates, and then you put in the accommodations that you require, like the length of your camper, if you're towing a vehicle, how many slide outs you have, all of that. So they know where to put you. And if there's sites available, you might get one of five different sites. But nowhere on his reservation did it say he had to move. And they said he was only supposed to be in that site for one night and then he was supposed to move. But he was there for three nights before he had to move. And turns out he didn't even have to move. So be looking for my review of this campground. It's probably not gonna be great. I'll name the campground. Um, I'll name the town that we're in. And I would um, definitely, uh, if I were to come here again, which we won't, because we saw what happened to that guy. And I mean, nothing bad has happened to us. They haven't asked us to move or anything, but the way that they treated him up at the office was very disrespectful. And then to find out that the gal that mistreated him is family. So, you know, she's gonna continue to get away with treating people that way because she's family of the owner. So I wouldn't recommend staying here, but like I said, look for my video with my review of this campsite because we will be leaving on Saturday and it will be up on my page on Saturday or on my channel. I keep saying page, my channel. Um, I will upload it. I will probably upload it tomorrow and schedule it for um, posting probably about noon on Saturday because we'll be headed to our next lo location at that time. So anyway, we will be leaving Saturday, headed to another location in Wisconsin. Um, just wanted to kind of keep you updated on that. And then a week from Saturday, we'll be in Michigan. So lots of things happening in the Bogner mobile RV home. <laughs> and um, I just want to keep you posted. So much love from Kenny's Best Life Over 50.